Here's the dealio. My gaming setup is a little lacking, okay? I have the standard PS5 controller. See? See? Can you see it? It's boring. <laughs> and I have my standard PS5. See? 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 Boring. Black and white, no swag, no cool covers. I'm thinking we can change that. We're taking it to Amazon. Let's see what we can find. Accessories. My limit is a hundred bucks. I can't break the bank. I'm balling on a budget. So that is what we're gonna go for. So let's see if there's anything interesting for the PS5. There's just some normal stuff. Stands, cooling, I don't need that. What is this? PS5 console, middle skin, integral PS5 disc version, host, middle stripe, sticker, console, center, part, protection, stripe, film, PS5, middle, sticker, accessories, durable, scratch, resistant, galactic, purple. Whew. I mean, if I bought this, it would certainly make my PS5 have a bit more color, right? We can't hate that. And look at that before. Scratch marks fingerprints. I don't know who's grabbing their PS5 like that all over the place. Apparently the sticker is gonna solve my problem. The only thing about stickers is that it's very user dependent, which means I have to do a good job of putting it on, which is questionable. Starlight blue, this galactic purple, ooh, cosmic red. So they match like the actual PS skins, I think. This blue, this blue though. I'm normally a purple girl, but the blue is kind of speaking to me. Let's see what others have to say. You always have to check the reviews, okay? Be an informed shopper. This question, what is the function? The center section has shiny, shiny black plastic on it. Very easy to scratch if you use the buttons. How are you scratching it? Do you got talons? You're just like clawing at it, trying to hit the on button? This covers that and looks cool. We love something that's functional and provides some aesthetic. Looks pretty good. Pain in the neck to apply. Great, but creases, folded and crease. Everyone has creases. This is what we're in for. Let's buy it. We're adding it to the cart. We're getting the purple. Thank you. Next, a Nike sticker decal. Who's obsessed with Nike so much that they're gonna be getting that? Now I'm we got the LED light compatible with PS5 RGB light strip. Now I can really add some cool color to my PlayStation. Is it necessary? No, we're not here for necessary. We're here for aesthetic. So this is such a gamer photo. You got the RGBs here and anime girl in the background. They know their audience. Light strip, seven colors, 358 dynamic light effect. And the console's not included. How sad. Oh, these are indoor and outdoor use for when I take my PlayStation 5 on the road to the park. Play some games on my outdoor setup. The only thing I'm worried about is it looks like I have to take apart my console and I just don't trust it. Should we get it? Should I do the thing? We'll add it to the cart. I am hesitant and scared. Next, wireless controller keyboard for the PS5. What? For when I'm online chatting and wanna play? This thing is a beast. It's a voice chat board, pairs off automatically, easy to install and carry, built-in speaker, audio jack, Bluetooth enabled. Man, it's got it all. I can type out messages to all of my friends. All right, well, if I want some fast typing with my friends, I gotta get this. So I can text my friends while playing, yell at them for having me get shot. Like, come on, I can't carry the team. You need to help out. Into the cart. We're at 67 buccarinos. What else we got? We need to find something for the controller other than the key Keyboards. I see all these grippies, but I want something cooler than that. Hold on, what is this? The Hori 3D Surround Gaming Neck Set? What is this future technology here? I thought it was a neck massager when I first saw it. 3D Surround Gaming Neck Set. Shouldn't it be like surround sound? I feel like a word's missing. This is kind of ridiculous. And it plugs in, where does it plug in? Connects directly to the PS5 controller. For those times I don't wanna wear a headset that I just want to wear that cool neck brace. Has 10 hours of battery life? My gosh. And a lightweight design. For my sensitive ear folks, we'll add it to the cart. This feels a little ridiculous. Here we go. 3D studded edition anti-slip silicone cover skin for PS5 controller, soft rubber case for PS5 wireless controller with six white thumb grip caps. <gasps> this is when I'm gaming real hard. My hands are getting sweaty because I'm, you know, a try hard. Don't want that controller to slip out of my hands. I need the grip. We need a cool color if we're gonna buy one. The tie-dye one's kind of cool. Is this glow in the dark? 
feel like we need to get the glow in the dark one to really test it out. Does it actually glow? Cause that feels wild. We're getting the glow in the dark one. Add to cart. Let's get one more thing for the controller. Here we go. We have some thumb stick, thumb, thumb stick, <laughs> thumb, Thumbstick? Why do I feel like I'm saying that word wrong? Thumbstick extender and texture rubber silicon grip cover for the PS5 and the PS4. This is what we're talking about. Oh, but they're all the creepy clown face. Oh, here we, here we go. Better, better. I want something cute. Oh, the skulls are pretty cute. We're getting these cute, cute frog ones because I am not an e-girl, unfortunately. I don't have that aesthetic. And these are just so dang adorable. I mean, look at that face. Look at it. One is a frog. The other one, it looks more like Kirby. A little bit, just, just just a little bit. We're adding it to the bag, and I think that rounds out our cart. Ish. We have six things in total. Some cutesy things, some functional things. Again, some things to make me more aesthetic. Give me some more clout points with the gamer bros. Give me more, some more swag. <laughs> now we'll just wait for the postman to come with all of my Amazon goodies. And you'll see me again when we get the things. And then we can put the things on my PS5 things. <laughs> it has been about a week here and my... PS5 things have arrived from Amazon. So let's get unboxing. Somehow it all came in one box, which is surprising because I feel like Amazon always comes in separate packages and parcels and you gotta bring them all together. First up, we have ador our adorable cute thumb caps. Eee! These I was the most excited about. So I'm pumped they're here. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? You got a little froggy and uh, another froggy that's pink. I don't know. Tell me what creature you think that is. I don't think it looks like a frog, but it's dang adorable. It has a picture of the Switch on here, but it very clearly also has like the little PS5 controllers on the side, but everything even on the back is saying it's for the PS5 and 4 and NS Pro. So we should be good to go. Let's put these on my controller and see if they fit. I have my white PS5 controller. Voila. That needs some zhuzhing. Do I want the same on both or one of each? I think I want one of each. Sweet. They're super easy to get on. Well, I say that while I'm struggling, so maybe not. Stretch, little guy, stretch. Yeah. It's like partially on and he's upside down, which is Whoa! This is how I break my PS5 controller, by putting on little fun thumb caps. Stand by. They're not like 1000% or 100% on, but I'm tired of fiddling with it, so close enough. Ta-da! Isn't that adorable? Already? My controller has been leveled up. Max cuteness has increased by two. I can't remember the price of these, but I would say it's worth it. If you just want a little cute customization thing, I think that's a success. Next, I guess sticking with the theme of the controller, we have our glow in the dark cover. It better be glow in the dark. I'm gonna be angry. See, can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> Let's try and also get this on. All right, here that floppy boy is. It comes with the actual glow-in-the-dark cover or alleged glow-in-the-dark. We're gonna put it to the test. And some little, a lot of little thumb covers. They must expect you to lose them. Do people really need these? Like, are people gaming so hard that their hands get sweaty and their controller just like slips? I'm just curious. Please let me know if you use these. <laughs> Let's get you wrapped nice and secure here, controller. Ta-da! It's on! That was painless. There's little grippies on the side that actually feel real nice. And it fits pretty perfectly through all the buttons, so clearly it's nice and well made. Can't complain there. But now we have to put it to the real test. Is it actually glow in the dark? It's pitch black. Is it glowing? Ho oh, 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 ho oh. ho! It wasn't fake advertising. Now when it's the middle of the night and you misplaced your controller, you can find it. If you like things that glow in the dark, this is your type of thing. We have an unidentified box here. It's telling me that this is my light strips, which is the thing I'm most anxious about because I don't trust myself trying to install it. Comes with little wipies, little controller here, and the light strips. We're gonna have to deconstruct my PS5 to get these on. Can't wait. I am not scared of breaking my PS5. No, sir. We have our cool little sh stick on sticker for my PS5 for the middle. 
freedom. I don't think there's any instructions, which I guess, do you really need it for a sticker? We are gonna try and install this as well. Pray for us. I'm assuming I want the black part nice and clean for the sticker. And I'm hoping that putting the sticker on first and then the lights doesn't mess anything up, but you know, we'll figure it out. Let's get this PS5 front and center. <gasps> can I get the camera on a way where you can see more of it? Should we give it a try? Putting the sticker on. I feel like we need to start with the buttons first. Let's lay it on its side and hope I don't muck it up. So it's matty, but has a slight shine to it. I don't have high hopes that the sticker is gonna look well. This giant fold, it, it's not gonna come out when we put it on, I just know it. Ooh, the sticker's like this thick material. I hope that doesn't ruin my PS5. So far, so good. Look at that, we've got touchdown and the button are aligned and no bubbles yet. We're starting off strong with the first like couple inches. I'm impressed that my sticker abilities aren't terrible. Let's keep going. I'll just slowly work the sticker off. Oh no, it's diverting. It's diverting. Oh, I did botch it. Redo. Okay, I fixed it and I think that's better. I guess we'll find out soon. Slowly pressing as I work my way up. We're getting to the fold part that's gonna annoy me. And my sticker is not aligned. Dang it. Ugh. And there it is. I have made it past the fold, but you can clearly see where the fold was. It was right here. There's a line still, even though I tried to buff it out as much as I can. For a perfectionist like me, this bothers me a lot, and I bet it will bother a lot of other people. If you don't care, great. <laughs> All right, let's finish this up. It's on. You can see how much I got off by the end by how much this is not aligned in the back. You see it? Just imagine that all the way up through the top. Otherwise, I did a pretty good job and it doesn't look too bad. I'll show you what it looks like in my setup situation when it has the RBG lights on, of course, but it's not terrible. So look at the perfection. Wow, wow. The easy part was done. Now the lights. Yeah. I have instructions on the remote, very detailed, but nothing for how to install. Opening these up so the lights are attached to a USB, which I'm guessing you would plug into, do you think we can plug it into the PS5? Or else like a separate USB port, probably. But these definitely are cheap. Here's the light strip. And then there is an adhesive on the back, but on this side, the adhesive's already coming up where you can peel it off the RGB, off the actual light strips. And the blue part is what you'd peel off to get the light strips stuck to like my PS5. So I can basically peel off the sticky part and then there is no sticky part. It's not done the best. Don't really wanna take off the faceplate and cover which I know isn't doing it the right way. I'm just gonna put it on the top. Let me try one. I think it's supposed to go down the back then. I'm doing it if I can get the blue part off without taking the entire freaking adhesive with it. This is riveting, isn't it? You gotta have a great angle. One strip down. It's not the prettiest without the lights on. Hold on, let me get this other strip out of the way. So it went about like halfway when I started all the way from the top back. I don't know if I needed to start that far back, but I did. User preference. The sticker's already partially coming off in the back from my jostling. So I feel like that's a risk that happens a lot. Again, these aren't the most expansive. They're both on. You can see the little nubbins going up, going up down the top and sides. You can see where the cord is. It's already coming up just a little bit. Well, I'll get this bad boy set up and show you what the final product looks. I just realized I've got little wipes for the RGB strips. Didn't even use them. Maybe it would help the adhesive, who knows? Look at it. Does it look good with the, cord, the USB cord popping out of it like an umbilical cord? If we take a little road trip up here, I said up hand, come on. So the RGB lights on one side are already coming off. And again, maybe it's because I didn't clean it properly, but you know, who really has the time for that? Not too shabby. Holy moly, do you see it? Look at it go! Lights. All right, next we got our controller keyboard for all of the friends I'm typing to when I play multiplayer on my PS5. This thing is super light, which worries me. Can you see it? Um, the keys make like a slight clicky noise. They are satisfying to hit. Should I read the instructions? I feel like there's two types of people in the world. There's people who read instructions and people who figure out on the way. And I definitely fall under the read instructions person. Like if I just spent large amounts of money for something, no way am I going to be the one that breaks it just because I installed it wrong. 
Let's see if it fits on my PS5 controller. So I think it just snaps in. Chada. Ooh. Ah, look at it. Wow. So pretty. It definitely comes off super easily. Like if I was just holding it, my back fingers like make it slide off. It also isn't fun to grip the controller with this on. My hands feel uncomfy and I don't like when my hands feel uncomfy. And then if you type, like your hands have to be like this, that also feels awkward. But hey, we'll see if it works. Now put it to the test. See if typing actually does something. Maybe it's worth the investment. I got my desk set up with my PS5, doing a screen capture so we can test out the keyboard. So again, this is what it like looks like. It just inserts into the headphone jack. Again, you gotta be a little careful when you use it because it pulls super easily from the back as you can see. So I have to turn it on. Oh, you have to connect it via a Bluetooth device. So you pair it Bluetooth with your PS5. Sound is coming out of my controller, which I don't like. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? I put it towards the microphone. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can, I don't like it. I don't need the sound to come from this section. Let's try and type some things. I don't know, say I wanna look at an app. Is it gonna work? Can I search? I'm gonna type it. Oh, letters are popping up. I don't know what I'm typing, but it's working. And I can backspace it and everything. Oh, the buttons are fun to press. And it's easier to type here, obviously, than keep scrolling through all of the numbers. It just takes forever at this point. It does what it says. No one else to say. Take it with your old multiplayer friends when you want to talk trash and some type of game. And last, but certainly not least, we have our neck brace, or excuse me, my gaming neck set. It's a revolutionary wearable speaker with voice chat. You're gonna be the coolest kid out of your friend group when you have one of these. This is some futuristic stuff. Do you see it? Oh, ooh, it has some bend to it, some flexibility. I don't know which way's up. So this is what it looks like. Just a big old plastic disc. How, do, how does one wear it? How does, what does the guy in the picture look like? Do the pointy things go up? I guess they do. It has echo cancellation, so it prevents mic feedback. I guess we'll see if that works. And I lightly rest it on my neck. How does it look? How am I, how's, how am I repping? In vogue. I mean, it's not heavy, so that's a good thing. That's always a worry when you have something on your neck. Pretty flexible, the rubber part. So this part right here sits right on the back of your neck. So it's really soft, doesn't hurt. It has some like extra coating, also like rubberized coating on the plastic. So that's more comfortable too, where it rests on your shoulders. So it's not like digging in anywhere. It's really light, not too shabby. I mean, I don't know. I certainly look pretty fly and like I'm ready for a full day of gaming, okay? But we have to put it to the test and if this actually works. That's the real kicker. Ugh, there's USB things and other things. Oh, I might have to charge it first. It's not the worst when you have to charge things that you didn't know if you had to charge them or not. Let's see. Because I'm impatient and don't want to wait for it to charge, we're gonna see if we can play with it while it's plugged in like this. So it has a charging port. This thing has to hook up to the headphone jack in your controller as well. Ugh. Oh no, it does not reach. Am I calling someone? It's making all these noises that I don't know what they mean. All I hit was the on button. Let's try and wear this and see how this works. While I have it plugged in. Let's hope it doesn't, I don't know, explode. <laughs> That would be unfortunate. So where was the headphone jack? You can't really wear it well setting it up, can you? <sighs> Let's turn it on. I think there was a button. Oh, I hear the sound from my neck. That's a little trippy. I'm hearing the God of War music. Can you hear it? Man, how good is God of War soundtrack? Just, just as an aside, so good. So the surround sound works. Oh, it's loud. There's like a volume adjuster on the side too. I guess that's neat if you, I don't know, don't wanna listen to the sound through your TV. Supposedly you can use it for calling, I think, or talking. So let's see if the microphone is working. I think we can see it through here. Hello? 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 It's not picking up anything. I don't know where the mic is. Hello? 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 
Hello? So I don't know, I can't actually get the mic to pick up. I don't know if it's a me issue. Hello? It's just beeping at me. And there's no like actual instruction guide anywhere. There's like this little port that looks like it's supposed to be a mic. Maybe the mic doesn't work. Maybe that was a scam. Maybe it's a user error. There's really not very many buttons on here. And again, no instructions, so I don't know. I don't think I did anything wrong, but nothing's picking up. I wouldn't waste your money on this. What do you guys think of the accessories? I'll put a link down below of everything I got if you anything really tickles your fancy and you want to get it for yourself. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, then hit subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye